Tables are finally in Google Sheets. Today, I'm going to show you the Google Sheet templates for travel planning, including their itinerary, budget, and transportation. But before we jump in, if you do not have tables yet in Google Sheets, and the way you find it is insert tables or by right click and tables there. If you do not have it, make sure you go into the description Click on the link to download a copy of this, and then you can begin to use these tables in your own projects. So let's jump right in. So first up, itinerary. So in the itinerary template, you can put in start and end dates. You can type in an activity name. You can use their place smart chips for a clickable link to where you want to go. You can select a category. You can put names in here of the people going or the people that you want to contact in regards to it, and you can add notes here. Next up is your budget, and so you can put down the date. You can type in what the expense is and how much it is going to be, and then you can select here whether you've already settled or it's outstanding. You can use the name smart chips to put in the names of the people in the group and put a cost by person as well as paid by who so you can keep track of who paid for it and who needs to be paid. And finally, again, notes here. Last up is the transportation one. And so you can select a traveler here using the name chip and that was just at and their name. You can do a place chip here again, starting and final destination. Any details that you want to type out here and then you can use a date and time for departure and arrival. Select a status if it's booked or not booked and add any notes there. All right, so now let me show you how to modify some of these things so you can best know how to use this or modify it for your travel planning needs. And so on these dates, you can just double click and select a date. These activities, you can just type it in. My activity, the place chips, you can do at, let's say, Rome, and you can select a place just like that. And then when you hover over it, it will give you a chip and you can even pull in directions from there. You can select a category. If you want to add more categories, you can simply edit that drop down and then add a new item here. You can then also tag people and you just do at and start typing their name. And if they're in your contacts list, they'll pop up here with that and then you can add notes here. So if you need to add a column, you can simply insert a column in here just like this or delete it like that. You can add a new one here, new notes, just like that. You can also add more rows simply like that. And then if you want to change things like the color, you can simply go to here, customize table colors, pick the color of your choice. You can also pick a custom color, or if you want to color from here, you can pick some of these standard colors they have up here. Keep in mind if you do that and you go back to customize table colors again, it won't change, but you can go back, just select this column by clicking on one and then hit reset. And then now at this point, you can select the colors straight from here. So you can also add some quick borders in between these header columns, just like this. Um, if you like a light color, you can pick a different color if you like, whatever one suits your fancy. You can also add borders in between the columns like this, maybe pick a gray or something, uh, maybe make it a little darker if you want a little more visible, if you like a little more delineation between your columns. All right, so, in tables, they now allow you to group. And so when you've added some things here, for example, we can do some like this. And let's get rid of this just for a moment so you can see a little easier. So we can say sushi, um, Mexican dinner, hike, um, biking, and nap time. And 
hang out. So we're just gonna fill in a couple of these just so you can kind of see what this looks like. And now what we're gonna do is a group by and we can select category. And now you can see very easily, you, we have these activities grouped by category. And this helps you to quickly view it that way. And then so if you add another dining, for example, we call this breakfast. It gives us this prompt that our group by is out of sync. So we click refresh, that dining pops up there, just like that. So that makes it very quick and easy. If you want to save this view, you can do group by category, just like that. And then you can undo it like that if you don't wanna view it like that anymore. It is saved here now, called group by category. If You also can exit the view from here. If you end up not liking that grouping and wanna get rid of it entirely, you can go to these three buttons here and then you can rename it if, if you need to, duplicate it, or you can also delete it. So next, let's look at adding a column and the different types you can do. So they have column types now. And so some of these you can see, they already have this little calendar icon. So these are dates. So you can do date here, and you can do date, date time, or time. You can do text, and those are the ones with TT there, like that. You can also show these placeholders. So it just shows whatever the column header name is. So fill in here. And then you can also do a, a drop down if you want to add one from scratch and you can add whatever options you want here. Or you can do a checkbox if you want a checkbox. And then here's the smart chips. And so we've kind of reviewed the place one there and so you can do things like rating and stuff like that, if you want to rate the things going on, um, you can attach files, do finance, place, or people. Or you can go to none, and then it has nothing going on there. So if we go back to text maybe, right now it's showing zeros, but we can delete that, and then it shows all like that. So let's go ahead and add those placeholders just for now. And that is that. So finally, on the budget here, so we have a total cost. And so if we put in 100, 100, um, or 150 here, and 200, and we call it like this, we can call this table, we can rename it here, and we can call it budget. And then on a different tab, we can actually reference that using a sum and budget, and we could do expense right here. Um, and that's the title there, so we need total cost. So if we just go here, total cost, and there is our total. So 450 is our total budget. And then you could do uh, some ifs in here and then do our budget uh, status is equal to settled, which is 300. And then you could do this. And let's see what other status is outstanding. and we can get some quick totals of what we have to pay and have already paid for in budget. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope that helps you to see how you can use this for your own projects. Again, I'm gonna include a link to this in the description below so you can make a copy of this for your own project. And then make sure to check out our other videos on the other templates that Google has for Google tables, as well as a full tutorial that I'm going to release shortly. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.